Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first episode of the 12 Days of a Totally Awesome Christmas. Um, this is going to be a little different than the videos I normally post. You know, I've seen they're normally outside in the field doing work, but it's wintertime, close to Christmas, and everything's dormant right now. We're not going to get a lot of activity. Maybe on a sunny day we can see something basking, but uh, that's about it. So I thought we'd do something different for the 12 Days of Christmas to post the videos and maybe give you all some introduction to species we wouldn't see here in the U.S. So today's first turtle is going to be Cura amboinensis. All right, this is a species that has a very wide distribution and actually one of the widest, largest geographic distributions of any freshwater turtle. Um, they're in Asia, all the way from Bhutan, which is right north of India, down through Myanmar, Thailand, Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam, and then farther south into Malaysia, and Indonesia and the Philippines. So a huge range. And they have some different color patterns and morphology depending on where they come from. All right, so without further ado, we're gonna go check out some cool uh, Ambonensis this turtles. This is our turtle lab, we call it this. This is where we keep, uh, we have a greenhouse up on the hill, but this is where we keep all our hatchlings and juveniles and stuff that might need to be kept a little bit warmer than we get the fluctuation up in the greenhouse. But here is the, from uh, one of the females up in the greenhouse, and I'll show you her in a few minutes. But this guy, these guys are really cool. They really like this um, in the wild. They like kind of slow-moving or stagnant marsh, even rice fields. They really, they're found a lot in rice paddies and rice fields. These guys really like to be in this type of um, uh, very slow-moving or non-flowing water. They really like this habitat. And you can see this is this guy's growing a lot. You can see how fat that growth ring is on this guy. We've probably been feeding him too much or her too much. But as you'll see uh, with the ambos I'll show you up in the greenhouse is that this one is from Indonesia, from Sulawesi Island, where it's, a, its parents are. Um, this one was born here, hatched here. But it has that nice yellow head pattern. The ones I'll show you in the greenhouse in the Philippines have more of a cream, whitish head pattern. That's one of the big differences between the Philippine island and the ones from Indonesia. But the Philippine and Indonesia are relatively flat, whereas you get into Malaysia, Thailand, India, they are more domed shaped. All right, well, right across the street is the greenhouse. So we just saw the baby Ambo and the adults and the juveniles up in that greenhouse. And there's a holly bush. So we have a greenhouse. This can be a little loud in there because there's fans on that circulate the air. But I'll try to talk a little louder when we get in there. But we have our tropical, semi-tropical stuff in here because, well, it's winter time and they can't survive here in North Georgia in the winter. So we have to put them in here. And it's heated and cooled in the summer. Heated in the winter, cooled in the summer. All right, and there's my truck. And there's our forest. You can see uh, we have a, a large track of forest behind campus here and we do some research back there too with box turtles all right but here is a greenhouse it's a nice little greenhouse and let's enter and see the adults all right so here are our ambulances which are uh, more aquatic they have just a little box that they can get into if they want to and then this is a female. You can see that really nice, pretty yellow pattern. Now, in the summertime, we get a lot of sun in here. That yellow stripe around the eyes and on the top of the head is almost sort of a lime green. It's very pretty when they're getting lots of sunshine, but in the winter, they don't bask as much. We don't get as much light in here. So, to tell the difference, is really basic right here. This is a female. It's really obvious she doesn't have, she has a flat plaster on here. Males will have a deep concavity. Right? And I'll get a male out and, and show you the comparison. So we'll sit her down while we grab a male that is just sitting over here. There's one looking at us. So he's volunteering. So this is a male. And you can really see that concave plastron right there. So this is a male, very concave, whereas the female, very flat. All right, so here we've got some juvenile 
Ambos that are from the Philippine locality. There's normally always one. There it is. We have five. One of them really likes to be in the water. The rest of them like to be hidden underneath the mulch. So these are from the Philippines, and you can really see these are pretty flat. Um, if he doesn't come out, it'll be hard to tell. But, um, one of the big differences, the other ones have yellow head stripes, and these are more of a cream colored head striping. So you can see they don't have that bright as yellow. These are more cream colored. So that's the big difference between the Philippine types and the rest of Indonesia. Is the Philippines have this cream um, mushroom or white colored pattern on their on their heads. But this is a little one. He's only about two years old. And you can see he's pretty cute. Or she. I can't really tell right now. But uh, very cute little QR Ambo. And this is from the Philippines. He's not very shy. He's uh, posing well for the camera. Now he's pooping on my finger. But that happens. Alright little buddy. We'll put you back. You can go back. I won't disturb you anymore. He's going to go right under his high spots.